morning. It's Friday, January 17th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Learning the Hard Way, and our scripture is Psalm chapter 40. David writes, O oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. O oh, Lord, my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I try to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. You take no delight in sacrifices or offerings. Now that you have made me listen, I finally understand. You don't require burnt offerings or sin offerings. Then I said, Look, I have come. As is written about me in the scriptures, I take joy in doing your will, my God, for your instructions are written on my heart. I guess one of the reasons this devotional is named Rocky Road is because I'm painfully aware of the pathway. In my life, I've so often learned the hard way. King David indicated he had the same character deficiency when he wrote in what seems a tone of resignation, now that you have made me listen, I finally understand. <laughs> Life's road is mostly not a cakewalk, but it's a much rockier road when you learn the hard way. Scripture is full of backup to this thought. Solomon learned from David that a child's life is much more likely to hold success and fruitfulness if he listens to what a loving parent tries to share. Listen to the father-son chat in First Chronicles chapter 28. Solomon, my son, learn to know the God of your ancestors intimately. Worship and serve him with your whole heart and a willing mind. For the Lord sees every heart and knows every plan and thought. If you seek him, you will find him. But if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. In marriage, men do well to listen to their wives. I speak here from personal and at times painful experience of failing to hear with open ears. Often, God tries to get through the thick exterior covering the husband's brain and a loving wife just might be God's voice. In business or government, leaders that learn the hard way rarely get to stick around for re-election encores or franchise expansion. In church, pastors who begin to believe their press reports of how wonderful their sermons are or how wise they are flirt dangerously with the worst kind of pride. Scripture declares that's the prologue to the ungluing of your ministry. Proverbs chapter 16, pride goes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. In any discipline of life, we can learn from David's wise words that life itself is a gift. Making that life a valuable contribution to the lives of others and God's kingdom is a sacred responsibility. And it becomes abundantly more achievable when one's heart and mind remain humble enough to stay off the rockier path of going it alone. For you today, if you've had enough of life's rockier road, seek God's will in Scripture, and a trusted mentor wouldn't hurt. Most of all, remember that God gave you two ears and only one tongue. That suggests a good ratio of use. You learn much more when you hold that one tongue and use those two ears. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.